now that we have the uh, back foam with the heated element on it, we're going to actually put the cover, the new leather cover, over it. So I think the best method is to turn it inside out and start it with the top and work our way down. Okay, you want to actually pull in the top a little bit uh, once it's inside out and this will make it a little bit easier on covering this piece. Just do it in a little step. Just work side to side, pulling on the outside, pushing from the inside, lining up the uh, the Velcro with the slits. About halfway down, you want to start pulling it, you know, over itself, so you can start seeing the actual uh, back of the leather panel, and firmly press into the uh, slits with the Velcro. You can see that it is starting to uh, form nicely to the foam. As we continue on down the, the back piece and continually pulling and tugging and attaching the Velcro in the slit. Don't be afraid to manhandle it a little bit. Pull and tug. You'll be fine anyway. So it, it's going to take some, some pulling. This is probably the hardest piece right here on the end. Actually trying to uh, turn it back over and get the all the foam in there. Keep uh, working from the top down. Making sure everything is uh, snug on the top. Uh, keep working with it. it, it will go in there. It just takes time to uh, get that bottom part of the foam in the bottom piece of the leather. Okay, now that, that piece is done, let's set it aside and we'll get started with uh, taking the other pieces off the seat. We're untying the lace string or whatever you want to call it from the seat to, uh, to actually remove the bottom part of the seat. Now we're going to move to the back of the seat. There are a few uh, side pieces that are stapled in. You can actually just pull those out. They had to use pliers on some of it. Some of it just kind of pulled away from the foam. But uh, these side leather pieces you want to take loose. That will take the whole bottom seat part of the leather and make it uh, where it can come off the seat. We're going to move to the top and remove the uh, four clips that are up there, the, uh, the push clips. I have a special tool that I had purchased a long time ago that will help pop these out. You can use flathead screwdriver behind it and work each side to pop it out as well. There's four clips at the top. There are approximately two clips on the left side and two clips on the right side about midway to the bottom of the seat your seat may be a little bit different but they are push-in type clips Just be careful in this area if you have all the lumbar and you know the airbag type part of the seats for your lumbar and side adjustments uh, that you don't you know crimp one of those uh, airlines or damage any of the airlines in taking out these clips. But once all the clips are removed, the uh, front panels, leather panels, which is mostly vinyl in the case from the factory, will pull away easily, exposing the foam. Now the top piece, as far as the uh, the lever goes to, to pull the whole back of the seat up forward towards you, don't really know why that's even there, to be honest, uh, with a two-seater car. Anyway, it has that, so basically you can just work a, a screwdriver back behind that plastic panel and start pulling the uh, material out away from it. It comes out fairly easy. 
and then you can expose the top. There's going to be two more of those uh, push-in type clips. Here I am showing how to undo the nuts for the airbag. Once you take the two nuts out, you'll be able to remove the plastic sheathing or strip or whatever you want to call it. It, it just kind of wraps around the airbag. It will just come loose in two pieces. Then you can reattach the airbag to the side of the seat. There are also two wire hooks that are in the back of the hard plastic or fiberglass type seat that you'll have to twist a little bit and turn and they'll come out their hole uh, re releasing the leather back. Okay, we can remove the foam from the back now, and there are two uh, push-in clips at the very top of this foam piece. You will not be installing new ones for the new seat. This is the new 2012 foam piece, and you can tell from left to right by the airbag cutout on the side. Just simply place it back on the frame of the seat. And for the bottom piece of the seat, at this point you've unplugged everything. You might check to see if there's another plug, but it just pulls right off. So now we're looking at uh, some of the new seat material and the seat with everything off of it. We're going to uh, remove these little vinyl strips because they're actually leather strips they are sewn onto the new leather piece. They have little pins that you just pull out. You can use a flathead screwdriver. Okay, we're going to take the new leather piece and we're going to kind of shove in the, uh, the head piece of it a little bit to pull it down onto the foam, kind of like what we did for the, uh, the back leather piece. You just keep pulling and tugging until you get a smooth top piece. The sides are more difficult than anything to get, uh, you know, stretched around there. So just keep pulling from the from the sides around to the front to make that smooth. You want to put in the four push pin clips at the very top. I used the back handle of my screwdriver to push in on the plastic so I wouldn't hurt my hand. Try to push it in with your thumb. As you move to the sides, I used the push pins again and also used a uh, screwdriver to poke in new holes for the pins that, uh, that I need to place in there. As you see here, demonstrated.
and for the corners around your shoulders as far as the seat goes where your shoulders are I actually used uh, those screws those short metal screws that I talked about in the first part of the video to tighten up that piece because there is no pin push pin hole there that worked out nicely you could put one uh, you could use two I think I used one on my second seat I actually uh, ended up using two it seemed to, to, to make it even more smooth in that corner so now that we move on to the back of the piece where that lever is we want to cut it out and again we want to start with a small cut square cut and then we're gonna you know cut a little bit more so you start out small you can always cut out more and you're going to use a screwdriver to pull it back or push it back behind the uh, plastic lever piece but before you start make sure your lever is all the way down so you know the location of it you know where the center is is right above the lever where you're going to cut but you make a small cut and you can always make a larger cut and cut in the corners as diagonals uh, just start small and try to stretch it behind the plastic lever piece before you cut more Now we're on to those bottom leather pieces that came actually attached to the leather backing of the seat that we uh, pulled off the vinyl piece from the from the original factory GM. So these just Velcro on. Now your bottom piece, we're going to use the uh, spray glue again, and there are some foam pieces that were given to me to stick to the bottom of that because this seat sits on a kind of a, a wire frame type spraying system so these will kind of give it a little bit extra support for that foam with the uh, denser foam that I'm gluing on here and as far as the uh, top part of the seat you just want to use the spray glue again and glue your heated element to that seat if you have the heater seats same process as we did the back and this foam piece just basically falls right on top of the uh, the seat itself the seat frame and you can kind of check it out for fitting but what we're gonna end up doing is cutting this side piece of the foam if you look toward the video we'll be cutting on the left it would actually be the right hand side of the seat that's because that's where the, all the controls will go the foam pretty much has an outline where it should be cut. Okay, the metal bracket that you see that I'm laying over the foam to kind of get an idea where that hole is for the plugs to go through and that sort of thing. The tip end of it, you see that it kind of comes to a little bit of a V, rounded V type thing. So that is the curve that goes in front of the seat. You want to bend that prior to it just slightly so it fits better to the new seat. 